Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a viewer or subscriber wanted me to go over a clock with second hand or second tick marks, and he was having a problem because he was trying to figure out from one of my other videos how to, uh, well, you'll see in just a second how to get them uh, angled around right. So I've made two two rectangles without an outline, and I'm gonna I want one of them for the minute hand, I want one of them for the second hand, or every five, ten minute hand. So I'm going to take this one, I'm going to reduce it by 50%. And I've got my lock locked, so it made it 50% smaller in all directions. Now I'm going to take my uh, hour hand, and I'm going to press, I'm going to select both these, I'm going to hold down the shift key, and I'm going to go P, T. And that it put it at the very top of my border, and except for I don't want it exactly touching the edge. So I'm going to change my nudge factor to 0 0.05. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to bring it down. That's maybe twice, so 0 0.010. Then I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of that. And I'm going to double click on the X and I'm going to move my rotation to the center. Now I'm going to rotate this 30 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, Control. And this is where he was running into problems because he's having to put this one. He can't really see it. So let's change our nudge factor. This is an 18 inch wheel just for the video. Let's change it to 20 inches. Let's move our ring out of this out of the way. Let's move this up here and let's select all these. Control G, group them together, and let's move them out of the way. Now let's put our ring back in the center. I'm going to do the same thing. Holding down the shift key, I'm going to select both of them. Hit the letter P as in Paul and T as in top. We'll change our nudge factor this time to 0 0.05 again. And maybe we'll move it down three or four clicks, make it look a little different. Now I'm going to make a duplicate of that, control D, click it on again and get my rotation and put it in the center of the page. There it is. And if you're always questioning, you can bring in a guideline and go P and P, and then you can double check, double click on that rotation and see if it's not in the center. And it is. So we'll just go ahead and delete these lines. Now, we're going to make a duplicate of that, or do we already make a duplicate? Okay, we already made a duplicate. I just deleted it. Let's make sure it's not there. Then go back. Control D and make a duplicate. Get the rotation to the center. And that's why a lot of times I like to use the crosshairs. That doesn't look like the center to me, so I'm going to hit P on the keyboard and just kind of look at it. And it is. Go ahead and erase this line. Now we're going to rotate this every six degrees. Can We've already made a duplicate, so we're going to rotate it six degrees. Control D. Now this time, and it does this a lot, so you got to go 12. And then you can just keep, keep hitting the delete all the way around. Now what his problem was, whoop, made one too many, is that when he brought, brings these lines back in, uh, he can't uh, delete those other lines. So let's do this. Let's try this. Let's put no fill and put a red hairline around it. And let's move them back over 20 inches. And then we're going to be able to see these are still grouped together. So now we can see the ones we need to delete. And they wouldn't, I don't really think they'd matter because it's just going to be black on black. But just for kind of a test, we'll do this and delete the ones that are inside of our hour hand markings. And a lot of times you need to zoom in here, but I'm going to try not to save a little time on the video. And I will have to zoom in now. So we've got them almost all deleted. Now they're still grouped together. So let's just move them out of the way for a second. And let's go black 
but we need to put no hairline because I draw everything in a hairline and then let's move them back. There's your clock. And I don't, I really don't think it would engrave any different with those there, but he might want to use it for something else or change something. And if you kept this face, you could use it for other things. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.